You guys have always been known with this franchise of pushing the limits when it comes to the mature rating. Talk a little bit about that aspect of what you guys are doing with The Witcher 3. Well, see, mature for us isn't just breasts and swear words. It's it's a lot more than that. You know, we don't just push it by saying, all right, just get everyone topless. That's not what we're all about. The mature bit really comes from how we treat players. You know, we, we take you seriously. We say, okay, you're about to make a big decision. You're in a dialogue. Think about it. Don't just pick what you think is the best because maybe none of those options are the best ones. Maybe they're all gray. Maybe nothing good will come out of it, but you have to think. You know, the lesser of two evils or three or four, depending on the choices. And that's where the mature, you know, side comes from. And uh, in that respect, we've definitely pushed it. Uh, our writing team really works super hard. Uh, I know that when I play some of the quests, um, like some of the new quests that they bring out, I play them and I'm like, wow, I, don't, I can't think, like, what should I do? And sometimes I think about it for a long time, actually. I'll take a break, go for a coffee, come back. So that's, that's what the mature uh, side is all about, you know, us taking you seriously. How rich was the mythology from the original novels and how are you guys pushing beyond that as you make new games? Well, it was already quite rich. Uh, the writer, Sapovti, really did his... Uh, his uh, I mean, I love the games. I love the books, sorry. I don't know if you've read them, but I love them. They're superb. And then on top of that, our team really worked on uh, adding new new creatures and uh, you know new elements while staying within this Slavic storytelling uh, way of doing things, which is really dark. And it's... Um, you know, a lot of the monsters that we have are actually based off real, uh, not real monsters, but real old folk tales, you know, and, and it's, it's dark, it's dark stuff, you know, it comes from medieval times, and I love it personally, so we've added a lot to it. our team, worked super hard and did really well. How do you feel this game will connect with people that haven't played the first two, especially with the popularity today of things like Game of Thrones? Um, well... If you haven't played the first two, it's okay. Uh, we're well aware of, uh, you know, we're not going to force you to play the first two. What we have, we have a way at the beginning of the game to introduce you, introduce you sorry, nicely to the story and what's going on, but at the same time not making it boring for the guys who've played the first one and the second one. And that was, from the get-go, we, we knew, okay, this is becoming very popular. A lot of the fans, a lot of the players, new fans, will play only the third one. So we had to make sure that they get everything they need and then it's a standalone you know you don't have to of course you can if you want to you can play it first and second one especially if you got some you know you want some save games because your save games will affect the third one as well but if you don't it's cool don't worry